you see photos of parents and their newborns, happiness is the consistent factor, right? But many of you are sounding off about workers at a naval hospital taunting babies and posting the photos on social media. So as you can imagine, these posts have created a firestorm on Facebook and now the hospital is responding. They say, quote, Naval Hospital Jacksonville has released the nurses who are in these pictures right there. Well, now these are actually screenshots of the pictures themselves originally posted on Snapchat. They appear to show an employee flipping off a baby. We all know what that means and calling one of the children a mini Satan. That's a quote. The second picture shows a woman holding a baby up by their arms and smiling with that child. All right, so a person who says that she knows the woman in the photo couldn't stand for it saw it and actually took the screen grabs themselves and posted the pictures on Facebook. The post says a Navy nurse made the baby dance to rap music in one of the videos holding him up by the arms there. We asked the hospital what they're doing about it and they did send us a statement saying in part, I'm reading part of that statement for you now, quote, we are aware of a video photo posted online. It's outrageous, unacceptable, incredibly unprofessional and cannot be tolerated. We have identified the staff members involved. They have been removed from patient care and they will be handled by the legal system and military justice. Now, the statement also went on to say that they're actually working on contacting the parents of those patients there. I'm sure they will not be happy about this one, well, of course. like many of you online right now. We've been seeing a lot of comment on social media about this. And that's why we have Brooks here, kind of talking about the social media element of this. And as a dad, I, I'm just thinking the first pictures of my children mm. are the most sacred. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And those that you post online, whether it's just a, the picture of just born, whatever, and then the idea that somebody could come in, forget the childish, immature comments for a minute, because right. those right. are childish, those are terrible and stupid, frankly. Mm -hmm. But then just somebody else sneaking in, taking a picture when your child is most vulnerable, right. you know what I mean? And then putting it online really kind of bothers me. So that kind of brings me uh, to the Snapchat part of this. Uh, so many people have it, so many people use it, and I think they use it under the guise that they think these pictures are going to disappear. They could post it, and, and, and Brooks kind of explained that. Well, absolutely. There. That was the whole purpose of Snapchat being created, was that you can post these things, they last for 24 hours if you post them on your story, and then they disappear. Right. Well, the scariest part about that is, is that somebody always has access of to course, it. So yeah. when you have these friends that you may have on these social media sites and whatnot, and you're thinking, well, I'm just sharing it to my story, well, that makes it public to all of those friends that you have. So if you have a, a hundred people, a thousand mm -hmm. people, you know, two people, somebody can grab that screen, uh, that screenshot. They can take that video, save it to their phone in this case and post it on Facebook and it can go viral in just a matter of seconds. Right. And as we mentioned, there are a lot of people right now signing off on social media about this. A lot of the comments we actually can't even share online yeah. because of the outrage, which is understandable. Yeah. Yeah. And, and this is generally the point of the show where mm -hmm. Brooks, as the social media expert, would scroll through some of those comments. Yeah. I'm not sure if it advances the story yeah. really because yeah. I think all of the comments have generally been this is awful and mm -hmm. we can kind of surmise that this is uh, awful as well but I think it needs to be a lesson. Um, these are young people. I'm not making excuses right, right? but clearly the, the nurse in these pictures that we've seen is a young person who made a, obviously a really stupid decision but a, a lesson that you can kind of point out in your social media expertise is this is going to follow people. This is going to impact jobs and, and a good reminder. It will for I love, some time. I love social media. I love it. I use it every day. I use it all times of day. But one thing I've noticed is that everything you post out there is meant for the world to see. Yeah. Even when you don't mean for the world to yeah. see it, the world has access to it. And again, things could go like that. I talked to a college class just moments, uh, uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago, sure. and I told them it's easy to want to put those pictures of what you were doing at a party and all those types of things, but those can prohibit you from getting those jobs. That can prohibit you from getting that career, that reputation, Bill, you can tear something down before you even build it. So it's very important you know what you're posting on media. That's right. And we saw there, though, that the uh, Naval Hospital taking a very stark stance on mm -hmm. this. They yeah. pretty much let go of those nurses, we know, and they will be reprimanded. As a matter of fact, they said they're now in the hands of the legal system. They're not even dealing with them at this point. So you've got to be careful. That is the message to hammer home this time around. Thanks, Brooks. We'll talk to you we again in a half it. hour.